Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Mike McCarvel, McCarvel Studios. Um, this is kits number 33 and 34 for us. So the bunkhouse, uh, the little one, is uh, kit number 33, and then the eating house is kit number 34. They were originally in, uh, or still are, in uh, Sargent, Colorado. Now people will call it Sargent's Colorado a lot because that's actually what shows up as on roadmaps and uh, in the post office, but the railroad called it Sargent after uh, somebody who was uh, native to that area or lived in that area. Um, painted standard Denver Rio Grande Western colors. Uh, they sat along the tracks, and I believe this is the track side uh, um, picture of what you're looking at. And uh, I always I keep flipping it in my mind thinking that that's actually the backside, but it's not. Um, there was a depot that sat there. There was a big coaling, uh, tier, uh, um, basically a coaling dock that was there. Uh, there was a roundhouse. Now, uh, Bantam Auto Works makes the roundhouse, but to the best of my knowledge, these haven't, haven't been produced before. So anyway, let's get right into it. We're going to go through a real quick build of the bunkhouse, a little bit longer build of the uh, eating house. This was for crews uh, to actually have a meal um, at this location. And uh, other than that, we'll take a look at the uh, final product uh, when we're done. You're kind of seeing it now, so I'm not sure we need to do that. Um, uh, but I can kind of give you an idea. It's uh, multi-part windows and doors, so you can get a kind of a two-tone effect, uh, true to the prototype. Uh, 3D printed chimneys, and um, the roof comes off if you want to detail the interior. Uh, you can do that. Um, everything's nice and snug. Uh, same with this one. Now, this one's a little bit different. Uh, we did a uh, stone foundation. It's actually laser cut sheets that have the mortar lines cut and then the stones are painted different colors. The photos in the video coming up, you'll be able to see it much better. But even this, though this is a little kit, um, went ahead and uh, made this roof re removable as well. Um, this one's so small that uh, we didn't do MDF on the inside because it's the walls aren't very big. So uh, if you do have warping, just brace them in the middle. Uh, it's got a little stair. You can keep the stair off and keep the stone foundation off completely. Um, a little explanation about the, the brown at the very bottom. Uh, there's a trim pre piece at the very bottom of it, and rather than having to cut each of the board and battens off all the way around, um, I just put a piece of MDF on it and painted that, the trim color, so it looks like it's trim, so kind of a tri little trick. So tried a couple of different tricks on these kits. Um, anyway... Let's get to it. We'll show you the steps on what it takes to put these together and then uh, wrap it up at the end. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for these two kits. Um, once again, they're in HO and S. Check out the website. I'll put all the links down below so you can check all that stuff out. And uh, until then, I will see you guys on the next video, which I think is Placerville. I've got something sneaking out over there, right about there on the bench. So uh, um, 
we will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching and take care. See ya.